Happy Thursday! Okay, so today I have another makeup tutorial for you guys. And as promised in the Anna video, it is going to be a Rapunzel makeup tutorial. Um, it was kind of hard deciding what I was going to do next because I know personally for me, there's been nothing but Frozen. So it was kind of just one of those pick and choose type of things. So um, yeah, so we're going to do a Rapunzel tutorial and I'm really excited because she is my favorite princess and what I do with Rapunzel and Cinderella and stuff like that is I like to go more park accurate than movie accurate for those characters. Um, for the Frozen characters, I did, for Elsa at least, tend to go more um, movie accurate just because I didn't really like the park version when I saw it up close. Um, I really do like the park versions of Rapunzel and all those ones too. They have a little bit of color, so that's nice, but it's like a subtle light color. Um, Rapunzel does have purple eyeshadow at the parks, but here's the thing, I've seen a whole bunch of different kinds of Rapunzels. So I've seen pictures, I've done so much research and I've seen pictures where the Rapunzel is supernatural, I've seen pictures where Rapunzel has purple. I've seen pictures where Rapunzel's lip color is light. I've seen pictures where Rapunzel's lip color is bright pink. And you know what? When it came to that, um, I just picked the one that I liked the best, which park version I liked the best. So obviously this is not the exact park version tutorial, so I just want to get you guys to know that. Um, I've never worked in the parks. I don't know anyone that works in the parks. Um, but what I do is I study these pictures really hard and I try my absolute best to get as close as I can with the products that I buy. Um, I kind of guess. I guess what colors. I guess um, how to blend it in. I guess everything. But I've gotten pretty close. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. But first I want to show you my cool shirt. Here it is. Ta-da! So I got this shirt before I went to Disney and I'm pretty cool wearing a Rapunzel shirt from my Rapunzel video. But I went through this place on Etsy called Happily Ever Tees and I will put their link down below. They have Disney shirts with a whole bunch of different Disney sayings from different movies and stuff like that and I love it. So I'll put the link down below for you guys. Um, Alright, so let's get started. So I already have my foundation done. All of that is done. I'm just going to do the eyes and the lips for you guys. Um, so the first thing that we do, as always, I can actually not, I guess I don't have to always include this, but we're going to prime our eyelids with the Too Faced um, primer. I also tried to move up my, actually I was going through some videos um, of mine with my mom, and I tried to move up my mirror so that I don't have to bend completely out of the frame that I didn't realize I was doing until I was rewatching them and they already posted. Um, again, I'll walk you guys through this. I like to get talked through stuff, so that's what I'm going to do for you guys. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my base color, which um, this was a Make Your Own palette from Makeup Forever. I chose these colors, the blue one, Cinderella's color, um, the purple one, um, it's like a lavender, is um, Rapunzel's color. Um, so yeah, so I will post the... Um, link, or not the link, I'll put in the description the actual color that this purple is because I'm not positive, but I know that I have it on my Sephora app, so I'll put in the description what the actual color is. Um, so what I do is I take a flat brush, looks like this, it's just a flat brush from TJ Maxx, and I go in with that purple, kind of like Elsa, I put it all over the lid, I just pack it on. I don't want this one as dark as Elsa's, that's why I got like a lavender color as opposed to um, like a super dark purple like Elsa's. Um, again though, I have seen some Rapunzel's with darker purple, not as dark as like Elsa purple, but I've seen darker purple. Um, personally, I, I really like the lavender, I think it's really pretty. Um, with our costume, I think it looks really nice, so... Um, I just pat that on. Again, I don't want it to be uber dark, but I want it to be noticeable because it's color and it's fun. So the purple looks like this. It's not, like I said, it's not over the top purple, which is really nice. It's probably one of my favorite parts of it is that it's not over the top. Um, 
So then I'm going to go in with a new palette that I just got. And it is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this color called Strawberry Bonbon. Like this. Also, this palette smells like chocolate. Just so you guys know, it smells so good. Um, and what I'm going to do is it's a really light pink. I'm just going to put it on... Um, a fluffy brush like this and I'm just gonna kind of put it in the crease a little bit it's really light pink I'm just gonna throw it in the crease not super dark so it's again not like Elsa's where hers hot pink and stuff like that so um it honestly it's not like a super noticeable thing but it's something <laughs> So, throw a little bit of that in the crease, like this. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Naked 2 palette. And this is kind of a little bit of, oh no! I dropped this today and um, one of my colors just broke, so that was cool. It just caught all over my leg! Ah, so I have black on my hands now because it's my black! Um, alright, what I'm going to do is, I hope not, I don't want to try and tip this because it's going to go everywhere, but I'm going to go in with the color Pistol. Um, it's like a, um, dark gray, I guess. And I'm just going to, again, put that on the top of my fluffy brush, not a lot, and just blend it ever so lightly into the crease as well. It's like a gunmetal color. Blend that into the crease, just to give it a little bit of dimension. And I'll focus on the out, more outer part of the crease. Hmm. All right, so we have it like this. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with, that's pretty much it, also, that I do. Um, yeah, that's like it for the Rapunzel colors. I don't like it yet. I said I don't like to make it really dark. Um, I'm actually going to go in, because that's broken, so I'm going to go back into the chocolate bar um, palette, and I'm going to take the color um, white chocolate. It's this big one right here. Whoops. And I'm just going to throw that on the brow bone right here Done. throw that into the brow bone um, basically again I just use a fluffy brush like the entire time then I take um, technically I think this is for lip liner but whatever it looks like this um, and I go in with the color in the chocolate bar palette champagne truffle it's like a pretty champagne color um, and I put it on the inside corners of my eyes just to brighten them up a little bit as well as the outside of the brow bone just along like the last right underneath your brows like halfway and down um, so yeah that's pretty much the eyeshadow that I do um, so then what I do is I go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Pencil. This is the mini one that I actually need to sharpen. And I'll put, a, again, a very thin layer on the um, top lash line. So I'm going to do that. I'm trying really hard to like stay in the frame here. Mom said she would have liked to see me put on my eyeliner, but I feel like people put on their eyeliner like their own ways, so. She's my biggest critique. So it's really thin. Um, then I'll go in with a, like, angle brush like this and I'll just go over the shadow I mean the liner to blend it out a bit just to make sure 
the whole top lash line is pretty much covered. Um, then what I do is I go in with, again, the Naked 2 palette, and I go in with the black that's in there, which is now broken since I dropped it. <laughs> the black is called Blackout. I put a very small amount. I usually don't like black, but when looking at park pictures, it's like black. Put a very small amount um, under the eye on the uh, about halfway um, on the bottom lash line. Going about halfway into the eye. I don't usually like to do black, but if I do, then it's definitely a shadow because it's not as harsh and it's like smokier, I guess you could say. <laughs> Um, again, you can put the white liner on the waterline if you'd like. Rapunzel also has really big eyes, as do most Disney characters. Um, I don't do that, but... <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go curl my lashes, and I'm going to go throw on my falsies, and then I'll be back. I have my falsies on, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl. You've seen this in the previous video, same thing, CoverGirl liquid liner. And I'm just going to blend in the falsy line with the um, eyeliner line. Blend it all in. Just so it's not super harsh. Oops, I'm coming off in the corner. Did not glue these the best. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend in the falsies with the, um, my regular eyelashes. Again, I just use a CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom uh, mascara. Nothing fancy. It's on, um, then I put a little bit on the lower lash line. So, so far, this is what it looks like. I hope you can see it, because I'm on a purple background, so that may not help. Um, and then what I do is one of my favorite parts is I go in with that Urban Decay, um, what's it called, a Moon Dust in the color Cosmic. It's that wicked pretty um, sparkle. I throw a little bit on top, just like all the other princesses, because they deserve glitter. And then I will fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Pencil. I don't want to go super dark with her brows either, although she does have brown eyebrows and blonde hair, so... Um, thank God I also just got my eyebrows done so they don't look as horrendous. <laughs> Then I just go back over it. The brush on the other end. <laughs> and now I just move on to my lip color. So that's like the face, face, I guess. I keep looking to see if I missed anything, but I did not. Um, so the lip color I use is the Too Faced Melted um, Lipstick, and I use it in the color Jelly Donut. Um, this stuff, guys, stays forever. Like. It's almost impossible to get off sometimes. Um, so, it's a hot pink. I've seen a lot of Rapunzel with like a hot pink lip. So that's the lip. And there's the eye color. 
And then why don't I go throw on my wig for you guys and you can kind of see what everything looks like with the wig and everything like that. Of course this camera isn't doing the look color justice so hopefully the picture on the thumbnail will um, help you. It's, this looks orange on the camera but it's truly hot pink. So here's the final look with out the wig. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the finished Rapunzel look. Um, with the wig and everything. Sorry the wig's a little bit of a mess. Um, unfortunately Rapunzel hasn't got out a lot, which is really sad because she's my favorite, but um, my wig maintenance has been mainly Elsa and Anna since that's still it's super popular, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the wig and with the makeup and the hair color and everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And you can subscribe, so that would be cool. And also, I don't really know who I'm going to do next. So if you guys have ideas, you can leave it in the comments. You could shoot me an email, whichever you think would be better. Up to you. Um, so, yeah. Also, I'm going to give a shout-out. Um, you're going to see a really awesome picture in my thumbnail. Um, I don't know if you've noticed a trend, but I like to compare and contrast my looks with some of the cartoons. Um... And uh, Brianna Ogar Photography, who is my best friend's sister, she has been doing really awesome pictures for me. Um, she's done a bunch of photo shoots with me. We went to the park and did a Rapunzel photo shoot. We've done Elsa. We're planning on doing Ariel soon. So um, her picture is going to be the one that you see. So if you're in the Boston area and you need um, some pics, she's awesome. Um, so yeah, shout out to her. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Um, give a little close up of the look with Rapunzel <laughs> and the eye makeup and everything. So, um, again, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!